The idea of a pre-washed snow foam is to help loosen and dissolve as much dirt from the car before you actually touch it. A rich blanket is sprayed over the entire vehicle, including the wheels, to help draw the dirt and grime away from the paintwork. Whilst the snow foam is working, and before cleaning the wheels, I rinse them off to remove as much brake dust as possible. I then rinse the car starting from the bottom and work my way up. The reason I start at the bottom is to allow the snow foam to carry on working, as if I started from the top, I will reduce the contact time the snow foam has to work. After using a degreaser on the door shuts, I carefully flush the door sills with a stream of water. After this, I agitate it with a detail brush. I then clean all of the door shuts and intricate areas with a degreaser and a soft bristle brush. After the wheels have been rinsed, I apply an iron remover. This helps dissolve the iron-rich brake dust into a soluble solution, which is then easy to rinse away. As you can see, the liquid turns purple as it dissolves the iron. The iron remover is then removed with a high stream pressured water. I then coat the wheels in a blanket of foam and agitate it with a variety of brushes to help remove all traces of dirt. This includes the wheel face, the inner wheel barrel and the tyres. Scrubbing the tyres is a crucial step to help the tyre dressing bond to the rubber. When cleaning the tyres, I like to use a dedicated tyre brush and a microfiber towel. The microfiber towel ensures that the surface is completely clean.
car is then washed using the two bucket method and two wash mitts. One bucket is full with shampoo and the other with clean rinsing water. Starting from the top, as typically the top sections of the car has less contamination, I wash each panel. After each panel, the wash mitt is rinsed in the clean water. The lower sections of the cars are washed with a separate wash mitt to avoid any cross-contamination. After this, the car is rinsed. Before any polishing is undertaken, the car must be thoroughly decontaminated. Firstly, I use a tar remover to dissolve all organic matter, such as tar, tree sap and any previous waxes. This is then followed by an iron remover. Every time you use your brakes, the brake pads create hot dust. These airborne hot iron filings land on the paintwork and create a rough texture. The iron remover dissolves these filings into a soluble purple liquid, thus making it easy to rinse away. Now onto the clay bar stage. For my lubrication, I'm using built hammer auto foam. After the tar and iron remover have been used, any traces of contamination remaining are picked up by the clay bar. After this, the surface will be perfectly smooth in readiness for polishing. The idea of this protection detail is to enhance the overall gloss and the appearance of the paintwork. Therefore, swirl marks and deeper scratches will remain. To clean and polish the exhaust tips, I'm using Brightmax Easy Cut and Fine Iron Wool. Before applying CarPro Light, the panel must be wiped with an isopropyl alcohol or a panel wipe. This removes all oils left behind from polishing and leaves the surface squeaky clean in readiness for the coating. CarPro Light is an entry level ceramic coating that offers more than 6 months protection. The capabilities of the coating include easy to clean surfaces, resistant to insect splatter, practically impervious to chemicals and protects from harmful UV rays.
Here's a short video showing the hydrophobic properties of Carpro Lite.